What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna talk about fixing syntax errors and how to troubleshoot your CSS when it's not applying properly. And we're gonna look at a really unique case with a client where they reached out to me and they were having trouble with their Squarespace site not rendering the styles properly. The CSS would only apply when they clicked into the CSS window. So I'm gonna show you my troubleshooting process and how I was able to solve that issue. Now the first thing that you want to do if your CSS is like not working properly is you want to check at the bottom of the Squarespace CSS window for a syntax error. So if you have a syntax error then that's uh, it's going to mess up all of your CSS. It won't apply the styles properly. Like for example I just put a random like question mark here and now we have a syntax error because it's like what the heck is that doing there. Um, and so for some reason it cuts off the line number, but if you just highlight the syntax error and then hold control shift and then right arrow over and copy it and then paste it somewhere, it'll tell you error on line 19. So the, the nine is just cut off. So if we go to line 19, we can see, uh, okay, oh, whoops, that's not supposed to be there and then get rid of the question mark. But there are some situations where if you're running into this, these weird CSS problems and a syntax error isn't at the bottom, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot that and to check if you do, in fact, if it is a problem with the CSS or something else. So, as I mentioned, the first thing that you should do is check the bottom right-hand corner of your CSS window for a syntax error, and that'll be the first indicator that something in your, your CSS that you wrote is messed up. Sometimes you will still have these errors uh, and clearly the CSS is not applying, but there is no syntax error. So this next video that I'm gonna show you is an example of one of these crazy like outlier situations. So we're gonna go over the process that I used to troubleshoot this issue. So it's a really interesting problem that's going on. CSS has been written for this section to turn the background black and this text white. And the CSS does not apply unless you open the custom CSS window, and then the CSS applies. Uh, but oddly enough, if I go to some other panel on the website and then reload the frame, CSS doesn't load. It's only if you open the CSS panel that it loads. So a very strange issue. And if I go to the live site, a good way to do that is to type in the URL and then add question mark no redirect one word and that'll load the website without the Squarespace editor and so you can see that the CSS for that section is not applying on the live site so even though we have that weird glitch on the back end where it does work when we click in the custom CSS window it's it's not working if you're having this problem the way to troubleshoot it is right click on the page and click inspect and then scroll up to the head section of the website. Uh, so I have the head section toggled open already, but the head section will be right above the body. So toggle open the head, and then you wanna scroll all the way down until you're gonna see this like, if GTE IE 9, you'll see all this green text. So scroll down below that, and we're looking for this if IE, we're looking for this style sheet. So, just click, right click on that link and click open a new tab. So this is the CSS for the Squarespace website. And any CSS that we put in the custom CSS window, it gets appended to the bottom of this external style sheet. And so we can see our uh, custom CSS that has been added to the uh, custom CSS window, we're getting an error. So we get this oops, and then it says line statement incite custom less. So this is within our custom CSS window. Uh, we're getting an error. So we can see the line numbers here. It helps us troubleshoot. And on line 19, it'll have dot, 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 arrow. And then it has an arrow pointing to this uh, semicolon. And we get a syntax error in complete parse, unable to complete parse. So because we have this error, the, the custom CSS isn't loading properly. But the awesome thing is we know exactly what it is. It's the semicolon here, which shouldn't be in the media query. 
and it's on line 19. So it makes it really easy to troubleshoot, which is awesome. So now I can come to my custom CSS window. I'm gonna go to line 19. And right here we have uh, an opening media query. So at media screen and min width, but then we have a semicolon here. So I'm going to close the parenthesis and then I'm going to open up some curly brackets because media queries have to the contents of a media query have to be within a closing bracket, within a curly bracket, excuse me. Um, oh, let's see, okay. So it just needed an opening one, it already had a closing one. Uh, and then let's see, okay, so all of that other stuff looks good. So it looks like it was just that one media query that was messed up. So if I save this, I'll refresh the page, and now our custom CSS is applying properly. And if we were to go back to the head and find that style sheet again. So scroll up above the body, right click on this, uh, oh wait, nope, that's not the one we're looking for. Here, this one. Right click on this style sheet, open a new tab, scroll all the way to the bottom, we should no longer have an error, and we don't, we can now see all of the custom CSS that we have added to the custom CSS window, as opposed to seeing that error message. So if you are getting that really funky error in Squarespace, um, where if you click into the custom CSS, it's applying, but it's not applying on the live site, go ahead, check out that style sheet. If you have that error, it will walk you through the steps of where the error is, resolve those errors, and then everything should work as expected. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this helps you feel more confident in troubleshooting your CSS issues. You now have two things to look for. Uh, if you are running into errors. All right, take a moment, please subscribe to this channel if you found this content valuable, and I will see you in the next one.